In this video, we will be talking about the placement of sensors on your robot. But we won't be talking about the ultrasonic sensor because we don't recommend using it. So that leaves us with the color sensor, the gyro sensor, and the touch sensor, which will all help your robot navigate across the mat. This is the gyro sensor, which measures how many degrees it rotates. This can be useful when you want your robot to turn a specific number of degrees. These red arrows on top show what direction it's rotating in, so you want it to be facing up or down so it can measure the turn side to side. Now we will be talking about color sensors or light sensors. If you notice on the map, you'll find these lines running across it, and these are meant to help you maneuver your robot accurately across the map. That's why we have these color sensors to detect them. If you also notice, some lines are branching off of others, and that's where we utilize two color sensors. One will be following the main line, and the second will be looking for that second line branching off of the first. That way, we'll have an exact position on the map. If you notice, we have these color sensors about half a centimeter away from the ground with these color, with these color sensor shields built around it. These are used to prevent ambient light from affecting our sensors. You should place your color sensors not too far away from your motor and not too close. The reason is the color sensor will be taking information and transferring uh, amount of degrees to your wheel. And if it's too close, it will be reacting too quickly to the information. And if it's too far, it will be reacting too slowly. A good position is having this, the middle of your wheel in between the end of the motor and the start of the color sensor. I'll be teaching you guys how to make a light sensor shield. So first, you want to make a square with a 2x2 two two hole in the middle out of these right angled pieces. Next, you'll want to attach your color sensor to the shield with these angle changing pieces. Like so. If you notice, the color sensor is about one piece th away from the touching the ground. Next, you want to look for these gaps in this in the shield and fill them up with these pe with your own pieces. And now you have a color sensor shield. Let's talk about the touch sensor and the placement of it on your robot. The touch sensor can be used to bump against mission models and walls and figure out where you are by physically bumping against it. And now you might think you have to attach this on the side of your robot to actually trigger it, but if you notice, the touch sensor actually has um, a cross-shaped hole in the middle, meaning you can attach pieces and axles to it to route the, the button somewhere else or to create some sort of bumper. This way, you can practically attach it anywhere on your robot and route it through axles to the places you want to be triggered. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.